not saying having children with her is simple. I'm saying yeah. if I'm saying if you're in that situation, you have children yeah, yeah, yeah. With her and you and you and you proceed to get sure. married. Like you're like, oh yeah, sure, you're, sure, you're, sure. yeah, yo, I, I, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna marry her. You yep. know what I'm saying? Knowing that knowing there's a possibility that yeah. your, your marriage is gonna is not gonna be successful. You know what I'm saying? Divorce. It, it, yeah, that, it, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're a simp for it, but you I'm saying it's like you will lose the kids. Y'all already going in it with the wrong. Y'all going in it like shit. This shit ain't going to work anyway. What? No, I'm no. I'm not saying it's not going to work, but it's a high. It's a high chance. In, in, this, Yo, in the day, the day and, and age we live in, today. because this mother like Jason around, who's like the toxic. <laughs> that's why they're going. Nah, oh, no, no, why, no, why I say that? It's because yo, a, a woman could divorce you just for not being happy. I'm, a, I wasn't happy, exactly. so I'm leaving you. Exactly. exactly. That's not really like. But that's when it comes to for a, a, a um. Well, I can't think of the name. What's called a, um? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Tell me, say it. A, um. A prenup. You know, you sign up. The yes, the there we go. Like, and you can put like in, it. It don't out. have to be. You do what you want to do. But prenups, prenups void after a certain amount of years, though, don't they? You put in what? No, you put in what you want to put in. I, I heard something. Y'all heard something about like I heard something about like, that. Now. If you could divorce, got this new thing where your prenup could void, or, it, like it, it, like it don't really have an effect after a certain amount of years or something like. I heard I something. They like that. become. I don't know. I have to look into that, but. You can put in like, okay, if we divorce because infidelity, then okay, and she get everything. But if we divorce because she didn't happen, I'm not happy. Then you know she get none. You can put whatever in your prenup. So that's true. That's true. Why not get married? Yo, I swear I heard that from an um, attorney. Uh, and there was an attorney I was following, and then they said something about after a certain amount of years, your prenup, something, something about this. They, I don't know, man. This stuff in the law. Oh. Prenups it's always a loophole somewhere, though. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Every little, everything got a loop. Oh, yeah, they saying. I think. Um. Oh yeah, I guess in certain states, like certain states is different. Okay. So like, I don't know. Like in certain states, they could they dissolve after ten years. It depending on what depending on where you live at. You know, you got different um marital you know different laws when it, statutes and all that. But depending on where you live at, your, your prenup could dissolve after 10 years, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I never, I never heard it before, but I just feel like there's definitely ways, loopholes to get around a prenup, man. Because as long as you got enough money to get, you know, get a good lawyer or whatever, you can get through anything, man. But I just feel like even asking a chick for a prenup, I feel like they take that as disrespectful. Because, yeah. they, oh, I don't, I don't want your don't money. Want I don't want your money. Da, 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 da. Because but you may not want my money, but what if I leave you, you're going to take my money regardless if you want it or not, because the state's going to give you that. Like, so. a, a woman is not going to, uh, most women are not going to go into that, because that's like, that's that's a safe hold, kind of, like, that's like insurance yeah. on it. Like, they like, yo, I, I believe it's going to work out. So. Yeah. I, I, like, I mean, it benefits them, so it's like, why would they cut that benefit? Okay, it's like, yeah, but if, it's, if, I, if I could benefit if you cheat and I could divorce you because you cheat, then oh I'm doing it. But if I you know if it's like we fall out of love or whatever, okay, then that's what it is. But if it's you just doing whatever you want to do and think that you ain't got no price to pay, it's like okay, ways. look, all that could be in there. Yeah. Go your separate ways. So my thing with the prenup is I feel like like I I I I believe in them, don't get me wrong. But I feel like, let's say you, that was the the one, not, not the high school sweetheart, but some chick that you was down with for a long time. She built you up. You built her up. You guys had like years of history together. Maybe you shouldn't go into a prenup in that marriage, right? But yeah. let's say, let's say, like we said, you're established, you're doing your thing or whatever. You have to meet somebody and uh, she wants to be a stay-at-home mom. That's what, that's what bitch, you get a prenup. We get a prenup, yo. You don't got nothing to bring to the table. I don't need you to bring nothing to the table. I'm not asking for nothing. But at the same time, you're not going to. Come from nothing, take everything I got, and leave me with nothing. You feel me? Well, why does she want to be a stay at home mom? If you establish who no. you dating, you dating the young I would girl, love, you I would love to stay at home mom. I, 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 yeah, I would, I would love, love that too. To. Most men. Okay, but I'm saying, okay. So, okay, then if you will love it, then you understand the value that a woman brings being a stay at home mom because stay at home mom is a job. I do that. I've done that. I ain't no, not going to work, but it's, 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 I get it. That is a job. I'd rather go to work. I'd rather go to work. So that's a job. So uh, like, I'll be here mixed. I hear mixed. I'll be here. What's she mixed doing? Mixed. She working. 
So, so, so my, my thing is, I'd rather have a stay at home mom because I don't have that issue with my with my, my wife or whatever coming home and having like all these work issues, stress, and then coming home and having issues at home and talk my ear off because I hear about what the boss did. Some other man giving her orders is kind of crazy to me. Cutting her and check, then, cutting her check and everything. Paying yeah, her. it's like, why you why you paying my girl, dog? Like, that's wild to me. But <laughs> teach oh, right. Teach us on. Yo, that's you how know? men look at it because it's like, yo, psychologically, it has an effect. It has an effect on your relationship. It does. It has, it it has does. an effect on your relationship. Because you're uh, supposed to be a provider. You're supposed to be taking care. you feel yeah. like somebody else providing. For so, now, yeah, another man, okay, is providing, another man is providing for your woman, man. You know what I'm saying? He, right, right. The caveat to that is if, if she was look like that, look at that scent talk look. If she had like yeah. a uh like a career, like she was an architect or something like that, like she worked hard all these years to build her her own self or like her own empire or whatever. I right, do your thing, but I got no problem with that because you actually love doing your thing. That's your that's your time, you know what I'm saying? I should just that's your bag. But if you just got a job and you're working for you know whoever, get your ass home. Get get home, please. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's kind of how I feel about it, man. Prenups are good in certain circumstances, but not every circumstance. And does that mean if she works, if she works, is the household chores split? Like that means if she works and you work, y'all both, whoever get home first or what we doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? You see dishes, you see clothes, you see a necessity that need to be handled. Well, that means you handle it too or no? That's what I'm going to do, yo. I, I, this, this, my, my personal opinion, this is my personal opinion, man. If we both working, so... We, 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 yo, 50 50, man, or so, somewhere along, something, along, something along there. You know what I'm saying? If that's the case, it don't make yo, sense. If that's it don't make case, sense. And like, if we, bo- go ahead, Bob. It, it don't make sense for me, I mean, for both of us to be working and, and, and only one person to put, that mean, doing everything. That don't, that don't make sense, man. To me. Right. Right? Uh, but, so my thing is like, yo, if it's like that, we're both working and she expects whoever to get home first. House, guess what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm not getting home first. I'm not getting home first, so I'm working overtime every single day. Yeah, that's crazy. Man. I'm in there Ooh, two, three hours. Okay. Wait, wait, what law? What law? Whoever gets home day, first, man. what? Wait, what's the law? I'm just saying, if, if, if that was the case where like she expected, like, oh, like, well, we're both working, we've got careers or whatever, but if you get home first, can you right. just make the bed and wash dishes? I'm like, well, man, I gotta go, I gotta go, I got it like a long day today, man. They want OT, mm-hmm. it's mandatory. It's mandatory OT. I got to do it. I got to take it. Right. I'm never going to get home first. Yo. I'll be getting home like 9.30, right. 10 o'clock at night if I have to. But you don't think she's going to play that same game later? She's going to yeah. end up playing that same game. Yeah. Like, yeah. Don't you think it's like, I'd rather not sleep. Yeah. I'd rather not be playing. Right. Like, yo, I, I'd rather not do the No, he like the talk. So we forgot. Playing Listen games, they start getting petty. Like, both of y'all start doing stuff, right. you know what I'm saying, to like get out the other one, and it, it becomes like, nah, man, I, I'm not doing it. A deeper hole, a deeper hole. Yeah, deeper exactly. hole. I get that. You know what I'm saying? Now, now it's tit for tat. Now you're doing tit for tat. She do a little something and you do a little something. I'm saying, y'all keep doing stuff to each other. Right. Like, hell no. Listen, man. And that's why I mirror won't last. Look. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, nah, that's, that's a sure way. That's a, that's a sure sign that later yeah, on fine. down the line, you know what I'm saying? Hell no, man. I ain't doing that. All right, so let me ask you a question then. Let me ask you a question, right? So in any relationship, not just marriage, any relationship, do you think that both partners love each other equally or there's somebody in the relationship that wants somebody? Uh, hold on. And that's it, man. It's been another good episode. Episode nine, the Rhythm and Vibe podcast with our sister Latrice, man. We hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll get back to y'all next week, man. Peace.